All right, YouTube, this is actually post-league. Uh, what happened was, on stream, we played two leagues. The first league went very badly. The second league, much better. Uh, so what I'm going to do for you is cut up that second league and put it into a YouTube video so you can watch it. If you want to see all 10 matches with this Winota deck, you could always go to my Twitch VODs or something like that. Those are always there. Um, so what I'm playing tonight for you is, well, Winota. It's a sweet red prison, red stompy style list. Uh, your stompy elements are your your thorn and your trinisphere, your chalice, and your four magus of the moon. Uh, and, and we are attacking with a mixture of humans and non-humans so that we can trigger Winota, joiner of forces. Whenever a non-human attacks, look at your top six cards and put a human into the battlefield, attack, attacking, and indestructible. Um, so basically... You want to see like a turn one, I don't know, a Lelia or a Ragavan or a Rabble Master, and then a turn two or a turn three, Winota, and get a bunch of triggers and attack in there and do a bunch of damage. Uh, we also have a nice human hit off of Winota, uh, Angrath's Marauders, double the damage of all your creatures or all your permanents or, I don't know, there's a bunch of text on it. Uh, this deck used to be played a little bit as like a fun deck. Uh, it was created by one of the Japanese pilots, uh, and some sweet, uh, upgrades have come recently. It's not super recently, but, uh, the additions of Ragavan and Lelia to the format were not around when this deck was first being tried out when mostly when Winota was first printed. Uh, so now I think you have some like generically powerful, uh, uh, threats that you can put into your deck that synergize as non-humans with Winota. Uh, the, the only change I made since the, some of the other previous lists are I trimmed a Lelia and I trimmed a Rabble Master so I could add some Furies. There were some creatures that were blocking and I wanted to kill some things, uh, so I decided to put some Furies. Furies are obviously totally castable in this list as well, uh, so that's a nice little upside. Uh, sideboard features all your typical Graveyard Hate, Artifact Hate, Combo Hate, Blue Hate, and more Artifact Combo Hate. Uh, it's gonna be a fun league. Hope you enjoy. I will see you in round one. All right, chat. <laughs> I found the Winotas, by the way. I found them. We found them. They're here. Ay, ay, ay. Well... I think I'm going to play turn one Rabble Master and Ragavan. And then die at a Tinker. <laughs> Should I have put a way to beat Sphinx in my board? Is there a way for Mono Red to beat Sphinx? Maze, I guess. The classic Montolio tech. Oh, okay. It always, the UI for this one always bugs me. Yeah, we could play Pulverize again. Like, we don't have any actual mountains unless we, I think we have four plateaus unless we, ma unless we, ma uh, Magus. So, all right. Well, I mean, I played, I played a bunch of cards on turn one. Let's see if I get tinkered, I guess. I don't, I don't know. So this Fury replaced what? A Lelia and uh, and a Rabble Master. So we would have had either a second Rabble Master or a Lelia. Both of those sound much better than Fury here. Both of those sound a ton better than Fury. God, if I had a Lelia to follow this up with, I'd be pretty happy, I think. I wonder if this is the correct sequencing. Like, I could have just dashed a Ragavan, but it didn't seem good. Urza's Saga. Sure. Soul Ring again? Needle. What will they needle? <laughs> Do we have any? Do we have any?
Nope. Nice needle. Ooh. Hello there. Prismatic ending. Damn it, I wish I could prismatic ending this saga. I won't be prismatic ending their needle, but I will be playing this Winota. All right, kill me. Or else you're very dead. <laughs> it's a turn three, it's not bad. That's what I was doing in Historic, right? <laughs> I think we got this. I think we got this game. As long as long, even if we get Sphinx, we might still win. Oh, <gasps> because we get four Winota triggers. We could hit like four Angras Marauders or something. I told you this deck was great. Perfect. Easy. Concession. I should probably be bringing in by forces. I just don't know how to fit this many cards. It's so many cards. Yeah, that's just variance, not me. You can flip a coin and lose 11 times. Look at this. Look at this deck. It's unbeatable. We, we, we can barely attack as it is, Squash. <laughs> okay, sure. As long as you don't Volk me on turn two again. Oh! <gasps> Nah, but he's going to hate it when I cast this Maggots of the Moon. I'm totally, su uh, I'm totally supposed to cast Maggots here. I'll risk it for the biscuit. Nah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going for the Winota. I guess I could have gone Rabble Master and Magus. Eh. Uh... Maybe that would be better. If my opponent doesn't kill me, we could get three triggers, though. That could be lethal. Oh! <gasps> We're doing it. Can I draw a cavern? 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 No. So, if I play Ancient Tomb, can I also play Magus? If I play Ancient Tomb, and then I can play Magus first. So if I float a white mana, and I go... I gotta float everything, right? I float a white mana... I play a Magus. They have to force this, right? Wait, this worked out really well. Actually, my sequencing is, is fantastic. What am I talking about? This is, this is insane. I mean, th this is like the most straightforward they know what's happening ever, right? But... Oh, they have a Swords to Plowshares? Looks like they have a Swords to Plowshares. If you float white mana, though, you lose your Saga. 
This deck is sick when you can cast your spells. It's perfect. So they're gonna okay. So this this is they lose their saga. They have should I not cast Winota? No, I still should cast Winota because they have to they have to swords it. And that keeps my saga. Or that keeps my magus. If they, they have to swords this Winota. Also, I can't cast the Winota if I ever again if I <laughs> What? What? Okay, this is this could be a lethal attack. This this could be a lethal attack right here. This is three triggers. And it could get another Magus. This is 18 cards deep. Ah, uh, fam. You you done goofed here. Any any they don't know what Winota does because we didn't play a single card against them in the last game. Alright, well we missed on the first one. That's pretty good. I did cut a bunch of cards, so. Alright, I hit an Angrass Marauder. Another Angrass Marauder? I don't even think I need another Angrass Marauder. I think it's just lethal. Oh, another one! Take, like, a million! Is it a million? Mine's 37! <laughs> Mine is 37! <laughs> I should have recorded this. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, here's what I'll do. Here, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to clip this and put it at the front of the video. <laughs> and then, then, then the video <laughs> will just be going 05. <laughs> oh, they'll hate me. But I kind of want to do it. This was turn two. Holy moly. Uh, wow. How much damage did we just do? On turn one, we did one damage. So on turn two, we did 37 plus 19. Sheesh, 56. I think I, I think I sequenced these spells real nice. I don't, I don't know why they swords the, I don't know why they did anything. I don't know, but it was great. I mean, to be fair, Doc, no one does play removal spells in Vintage, so. Like, the most common removal spell in Vintage is Force of Will, and if you just have a cavern, you can blank Force of Will, so. There's a lot of cool things you can do. Alright, let's, uh, let's battle again. Uh, yeah, a classic hand here. Uh, yeah, this hand's actually quite good. I do need to hit a mana source in my first turn, but we have a lot of those in our deck, so. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. I have a thorn. Ah, oh, my thorn resolve. That's a good sign. Ooh, ooh, Jarvis. How did it go? Jarvis, you is now hosting my stream. How, how did Lotus Bloom go? I want to know. 
Easy 5-0? Ooh, I gotta go watch. I will have to watch the video. That's exciting. That deck looks so cool. Land? I did an easy 0-5. Oh, nice. I'll watch it. I'll, do, I'll watch it on YouTube, though. Sweet. Uh, basic Island triple moxin. Not ideal, I would say. The good news is if we hit like a land off the top, we can go Lelia, attack, untap, Win Winota. That might not be good enough at this point, though. This deck is quite bad, but we did do a turn two 50... 56 damage in the last round, so you know, I'll take I'll take the victories when we get them. Good gosh, we're so dead. Oh. It's so cool when it works, but it just does not work. <laughs> so what happens when you register plateau, to be fair? Not the strongest magic card. What is this like? I'm trying to figure out what's exactly going on in this. Where is the face? There it is. Turn too late here. I don't really know what my best way forward is. Probably just casting Lilia. Ooh, that's value. I don't think we're getting another turn, but imagine if we did. Like, I think my opponent's going to P.O. here for five mana and then draw six cards or five cards. Looks bad. I would I would say we're probably not getting another turn, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Okay, they didn't P.O. That's a good start. Tinker? I mean, we have a thorn. We're not the worst against Tinker. Oh, it's P.O. All right. Well, they shouldn't be able to P.O. twice in one turn, though we will probably have to draw a Cavern of Souls. Uh, we will probably have to draw a Cavern of Souls. But we do have two dudes in play. Well, sorry. We have two non-humans in play. It's irrelevant for our Winota. Winota only cares. That's not exactly. What it is just trying to join people together. Some non-humans, some humans. What we were when we were talking, we were talking about on Saturday. We were talking about how it's 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 cool design because you're 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 taking the the beasts of Ikoria and you're putting riders with them, pairing them up. This card's really cool. I like this card. It's not exactly. Ooh, this is it. Pre if we draw Cavern of Souls, we may legitimately win this game. Or if they drew no forces in the seven cards. I mean, we have a Thorn in play. You were laughing earlier about our Thorn, but it does slow down Pio. Oh my god, they're tapped out. We don't even need a Cavern. We're just gonna win. Come on, come on, come on. I, I do need a hit, right? I need a hit, probably. This is four, six. So we probably need to hit uh, an Angrath Marauder and a Magus or two Marauders. It's going to be unlikely. It's got to be unlikely, but... Or we can hit, we can hit Winota, right? Uh, maybe I should have ordered this. I don't, I don't know if it matters. Okay, so we can hit we can hit a Winota. I think that works. You just keep this Winota, right? Never actually done that. All right, so this one has to hit Angrath Marauders. 
But if it does, that's a W. Oh. <laughs> this deck is so cool, though. This deck is so cool, though. This is what I wanted to do the whole first league where I went 0-5. <laughs> All right. New plan. Cut that recording out. This is the only recording. Uh, without Winota, I think it's yeah, 8 and uh, 12. Yeah, 20. It is actually lethal without Winota. You just have to hit Angrass Marauders at all. Wow. That was beautiful. You love to see it. Jarvis is bringing the luck. All right, so I'm going to bring in Karns, Null Rods, Pyroblasts, Scab Clans. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Dan. Uh, I, a lot of people experienced it before me, but I, I have a lot of visibility, so I tried to try to use that best as I can. All right, so again, I, I do think we're supposed to cut car like i don't know how you're supposed to do this maybe we can trim on magus because they're playing island i don't know i have no idea how we're supposed to cut enough cards to make this work like this does that make sense like they're not going to kill our legendaries so we don't want multiple legendaries um I added some extra humans, so I can feel like I can cut some things. But this is like not a very many, it's a lot, a large number of non humans, so I'm a little worried about that. I cut three non humans and no, I cut four, yeah, I cut three non humans and two humans, and I added two humans back in, so my hits are not super different. This is probably fine. I'm like starting to think maybe my idea behind like trimming on like some of the combo elements is not good because maybe we can just race. This hand is sweet. I am starting to wonder if I should figure out more ways to get white mana with our maggot because of our magus. The Magus Winota synergy is very awkward. All right, chat. What are we baiting with? They only have three cards. They mulliganed twice. Do we just bait with Monkey and then go Sapphire, Simeon Spirit Guide, Null Rod? Well, there is synergy with it because you can hit Magus off of uh, Winota triggers. So it's not like there's no sin. I have Lotus Petal in the deck already. It's not like there's no synergy, but the dissynergy between making all of my non basics into mountains and not having very many ways to cast Winota, which is not even like it's not no ways. Like it's we have Pearl, Petal, Lotus, uh, and uh, Ragavan Treasures. So like it's not no ways, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if they'll counter my Ragavan and then I'm going to slam Null Rod. If they like force it or something. I'm going to slam Null Rod either way. But I think the Null Rod is like super important. Again, Null Rod, Ragavan, not a combo. But Null Rod, Null Rod is so much worse for my opponent than it is for me. So. I mean, if they force this, then that means they have Delta, Ruby, and one unknown. I mean, now they still have like not much going for them here. P.O. is pretty bad against Null Rod. I guess they could have Vamp here. Vamp might be reasonable. Yeah, we could run a we could run a Lodestone Golem. Yeah, we could totally we could totally run a Lodestone Golem. We could even run a Lodestone in the main. Actually, that's a really kind of a reasonable idea. I didn't think about that. That's a hell of a draw, though. Wow, that's a hell of a draw. That's so good. They're lucky they have this uh, island. But I think turning off black mana is going to be really strong here. Oh, they're going to Snapcaster? Sure, that's fine. This Ragavan is not great. It's still fine, but I'm okay with uh, Ambush Viper here. 
Uh, I, I'm going to play Magus. I think it's worth it. Pretty far from uh, a Winota anyways. All right, so they have an island, a mountain, and a turned off ruby. We are any land away from Ravel Master. <laughs> how does this happen? <laughs> how does, how, not me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Every time I play a Magus, it summons a Winota to the top. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I, I have no way of casting this card at all because I have a Null Rod in play. I mean, they could repeal my Null Rod, maybe. Damn. Before, we we had a problem drawing too many cards, or too many lands, and now we're having a problem drawing too much action. I don't think the mana's that bad. <laughs> it's It really isn't that bad. It's just specifically when my lands are uh, island, uh, mountains that uh, it, it's bad. <laughs> but I'll, I'm almost playing mono red, so you know. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. <laughs> All right, we're back to the we're back to the O five ways. This is repeal on my null run. Almost certainly. All right, we can cast Winota again. We just need to draw the pearl. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not great. Five mana? This is a prismatic ending? P.O. Uh, I mean, these don't make blue mana, so that's nice. I mean, like, I could have sequenced this differently, right? I could have played a Rabble Master and we probably would have won, right? Maybe I'm just missequencing and playing badly. If I played Rabble Master instead of Magus, I feel like we would be in a much better spot. I drew Ruby. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I mean, I have to play another Null Rod here. It's super risky. PO, PO is incredible. It, it, like, I, I think... You have to play Null Rod as soon as you possibly can. Oh, they're just off it? Like, Null Rod is just legitimately uh, so hard for P.O. to beat. It's very, very good. Oh, it's Code Provider. Okay, all right. Some Luris still. All right. Hmm... Oh, the Rabble Master's a warrior too, chat. Holy shit, we should have been naming warrior way often. <laughs> oh, wow. I did not know that was also a warrior. Man, I punted so badly naming spirits in that other video. We're definitely going to scrub that video from existence. <laughs> We're just going to act like the second league was the real league. We'll film a new starter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right let's do this I, I don't know if this is a keepable hand we do we can, we can play like a turn one ragavan it's against luris standstill uh, i don't know it's close it's pretty bad though I'm just like kind of debating whether it's worth keeping because of the cavern. I think I'm just gonna mulligan for something better. Uh, that's not better. 
that is, I guess, better. I don't know. This is definitely worse than my seven. Tell you that. Saga. Time fault. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's a good one. I have to win. I don't know how I'm going to win this game fast enough. Yeah, I mean, we could have gone to four, but I mean, we had a Ragavan with Dash and we were on the draw and it had plenty of mana to cast anything on the draw. So I think it was fine. Steal their key with Ragavan. That would be a way to win, yeah. I mean, if they have Force in addition to turn one Saga Vault, hey, hey, what am I going to do? It's a hell of a seven in that case, right? All right. Time to hit something real good, Mr. Monkey. Ancestral Key, Misty Rainforest, uh, probably not. This is like the most frustrating part about Saga for me is I don't like to play decks that play Vigor. So like these Vault Key draws are super annoying because I think the Construct part of Saga is usually very overstated, uh, but the freaking Vault Key part of it is just ugh, so boring. Yeah, well now they definitely have everything they need. Are you also Lotus Tinkering? Oh, sure. Yeah, you got me. Maybe this is... Is this still Luris? I guess there's no Tinker in this deck, because or maybe there's probably no Tinker in this deck, because it's a Luris deck. Hmm. All right. Well, same stuff as last time. Fury, uh, we're going to bring in Null Rods, Karns, Scab Clans, and, and, and Pyroblasts, and maybe by Forces... Yeah, and by forces. That's like so many misses on Winota. I feel like it definitely makes sense to boarding out some Winota pieces. And I definitely like trimming on legendaries because they're not going to die. And then... Uh... Mm... I only really like to play more than one. I, I think I'm only going to have one by force. Life Force is really for shops. It's not really for these decks, but it's not bad against these decks. Guess it's fun. This looks pretty reasonable. Can I play? No, let's just play. This will give me my third colored source for the next turn. Underground C. Okay. I mean, it's a pretty powerful hand. Let's see if we die before then. Ah, Jet Sapphire. Lotus. <laughs> They can just play the Luris and bring back the Lotus. It's incredible. Mm. Tinker definitely makes fun decks feel bad. Yep. So I assume they're going to get Luris, play Luris, bring back Lotus. Uh, hell of a hand. <laughs> hell of a hand. Crazy. Well, 
You think they're gonna trade the Luris for my Ragavan? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Oh, oh, what we got? Demonic Tutor. And <laughs> their hand was Jet Sapphire Lotus Demonic Tutor? It's pretty good. I can't say I'm happy to see that. I imagine my opponent has a force of will now. Or like a misstep, no? All right. How about for this one? Oh, we're getting there. Okay. Any humans? Magus kill the oh, Magus kill the saga. All right. <laughs> okay. No blocks. Trigger. Underworld breach. <laughs> that can stay in exile, friend. That that can most certainly stay in exile. Thank you, Ragavan, for your pilfering. I accept. We're certainly playing some Magic the Gathering now, aren't we? Watch them go, like, engineered explosives or something. I don't know. What are they going to do? I wonder what they demonic for. Maybe, like, part of Vault Key? Maybe they demonic for Time Vault because they had a Saga in play. That could be possible. I could see that be ha that that happening. Okay, so it's it's actually not standstill. It's Luris uh, breach. It's a very flashback throwback. If I knew it was Luris breach, would I have brought in Leyline? It's possible. It's definitely possible. All right, Dash or Ragavan. I'm not gonna... What is this? Why am I getting snuff outed? How is this happening twice? They... <laughs> uh... I'm pretty sure I'm willing to trade either of these. They didn't even have a swamp. They paid full cost. Oh, I guess this does let Luris attack in lifelink, but yeah, maybe I should hold back. Eh. Well, I can cast an Angrass Marauder if I draw it. I think that's the good news. I hit one of the Underworld Breaches with my Luris, so maybe they don't have any more Breaches left either. Oh, Volt. Yeah, I think they I think they demonic tutored for time vault because they had a saga in play and then the the Winota hit the uh uh Winota hit the what's it called? <laughs> Ooh, hard cast force. All right. No more monkey days. Well, maybe we can fade uh Ooh, hello. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Gonna block there? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> That makes me think they've got second breach at the very least. Oh, oh, Dragon Rage Channeler. That's a 3-3. And a Scry. 
Wait, they have a mana vault in this deck? Feels like a weird deck to have a mana vault in. Rabble boys. All right. This thing doesn't block, which is nice. After right now. So I'm coming in for three, four, eight. So I'm on two turns here. I have to fade two draws. Feels doable. Could also, you know, draw an Angrath and have it be lethal. <laughs> Uh... All right, you have one more draw, code provider. What do you have? Doesn't look like it. Let's go. We're getting W's. Okay, so... Do we board in Leyline? I kind of think the answer is yes. So it's like kind of awkward. But I kind of want to just take out the Winota stuff. And just play the prison elements. I know it's kind of sad, but I think it makes a lot of sense here. I think by force is bad. Does this does this feel reasonable? I feel I feel like I want to have null rods and Karn, and I want to have ley lines. And once you're putting in that much hate, I I feel like it's hard to fit this this nonsense here, which is it was good. But I, I have the cards I need over here. I'm going to keep uh, one Fury just for Luris as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do I still need all the mana? I think so. We're trying to play a three drop on turn one whenever we can. But uh, I, I, like this hand, you want to be able to... Yeah, I, I think so. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand, too. Obviously, I have no red mana right now, but I think I'm okay with that. They should have tank. What is this? This is a scroll for Ancestral. They have Island, too? That'd be really bad. What are they scrolling for? Yeah, scroll for Ancestral. Do you have an Island? You have an Island, too? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And a demonic? Oh, and a Luris. Well. I guess we beat with Chalice and then slam Nolron. I could bait with this monkey as well. All right, no rod. Does it resolve? Ooh, wait. It's winnable. I get snuff out. <laughs> sure, sure, fair. Oh, it's a hell of a draw. I'm pretty sure I'm willing to trade this Ragavan if they want. Sure. Now they have just mountains. They have mountains and no and no rotted artifacts. I'm having a good time. Can you tell? I'm also so hungry. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do a full league, but what if we 5-0? Oh.
They've won all their flips, haven't they? I don't know if that's actually true, but it feels like it's true. I like how they have three red mana and that's it. They have they have seven permanents in play that produce mana. Oh. 3-0! We're doing it! Alright, what do we got? Oh my lord. This deck is unbeatable. Snapkeeper, you know. All right, PDJ, what do you got for us? What have you been up to these days? Misty Rainforest, Mox Emerald, Sensei's Top Go. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. It's a pretty good draw against my Magus of the Moon. Mm, this is a really bad start for us. It's a very bad start for us. I think it's still correct, so I'm lagging like a storm here. Yeah, this is not a this is not what we want to see across the table. We want to see anything else really. Not much to say. These Maguses have been good, but I don't know if they've been good enough. Like, we could play four Scab Clan Berserker instead of four Magus to be both a human and a... It's just Scab Clan Berserker is really hard to cast because you can't cast it with your accelerated lands, which is why I like I liked Magus a lot more. Hmm. Maybe... I got, like, it could go back to Legion War Bosses. I don't know. I just feel like Magus is like really good in Vintage right now. It's just feels like the decks we played against have not. It has not lined up always great. It's not bad versus this deck, but it's not good either. Depends, I guess, if they're playing Saga or not. I guess anytime if they're playing Saga, it's fine. I, I'm just super far behind. But that's kind of mostly on the fact that they had a fetch land, right? And they chose to fetch a basic... I uh, chose to hold it until they had a... You know, I could have waited. And I could have, like, maybe gone... Played a Rapple Master, but I feel like I'm too... Too high of a chance to die. I mean, this is going to be a PO for three, four, so it's going to be probably lethal right here anyways. And the minute they find an Opal, it's a pretty easy concession to make. I might need to just play more things that beat up on PO in the main if I want to play this in leagues. Like, I have a good board against PO. Uh, but main seems fairly difficult. Why is there no three drop red human null rod? I don't want that, by the way. Don't actually print that, wizards. <laughs> I should save myself before I cause harm. So our best draw is probably... All right. They are on sagas. Our best draws, I guess... Chalice. Mox is pretty good as well. Let's let's play a Grapple Master. No, no, no. We they should make a monastery mentor, but instead of monks, it makes null rods. See, Magus of the Null Rod would actually be good, I think.
No rods with prowess. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but no power toughness. They're they're actually creatures. They're actually artifacts, but they have prowess. Just just in case you were to animate it with a card or something. Just a little Easter egg for the fun. All right, so we can't beat a PO or a Tinker here, uh, but they can't demonic. So I guess they drew PO. Uh, yeah. So the problem with red, green, hate bears is Ragavan and Collector Oof play so poorly with each other, and they are the two best cards <laughs> to play, like to play in red and green. What if you just give them a mana value? You can make if they're copies of Nolrod, then they have two mana value. This arena now. <laughs> 16 life and a top. Oh, yeah, and I guess that works too. Okay. Uh... If you saw how bad our mana problems were and your answer was splash green. <laughs> Angry. All right, so we get to board in these cards, which are great. We get to board out these cards, which are not great. What was the eighth card we were boarding out? I can't. Oh, I was cutting one, but yeah, it's boarding in seven. Today has been a uh, this has been an interesting stream. Let's put it that way. We need to win two straight games against Pio to keep the five zero dream alive. I don't know. I don't know. Why is there a 5-0 dream? Because we're winning! Our deck is sweet! It's perfect. Could never lose. Look at these cards. P.O. hates these six cards, or these seven cards. Or these eight cards. These eight cards are P.O.'s worst nightmare. No shot. We just need a reasonable draw. And we can, we can do it. Ooh. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Where's my opponent at? Trying to figure out how to sideboard against our deck? You know what? Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Give him the full three minutes. Uh, Ragavan's fine. It is just, I don't really need four of them. This hand is not good enough. Like, they're never going to kill my Ragavan, so as long as I have one, then it's fine. Wow, this is kind of an interesting hand. I have no permission. My deck cannot play Thalia because... I don't have the mana to support Thalia. I think. I thought about playing Thalia, but... I thought the mana was too sus. I have a different deck that plays Thalia and Archon. But it's like a very different deck.
you basically have to like i think typically when you play dahlia you kind of want to forgo like the city of trader stuff maybe you can play just ancient tomb uh and at that point you like want fetches and you want planes like you could make that deck it's just a different deck i also just don't think dahlia is that good I'm trying to figure out how to play this hand if i keep it I can just go Warrior Winota on turn one and then uh, Simeon Spirit Guide Lelia on turn two. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Dahlia plus Archon is certainly a deck. I mean, maybe you can somehow make that into a Winota deck, but the whole. I, I made a red white Archon deck. It was really lame and also didn't seem very good. Um, and so I decided to play this deck because it's way more fun. This deck is sweet. Oh, fuck off. Pete. Ah. It's correct play, but it makes me angry. Pete, Pete had the line. Would have gone very bad for them if they had... Alright, well now I'm gonna fucking Magus the shit out of them. Fuck them. Well, I mean, they they had they don't they don't know I have a cavern, so they kind of have to. But like, so they, like if they don't force the lotus, then I get to play uh, uncounterable things. I both sides played it correctly. I was just hoping that I would get to play uncounterable things. Why is it whenever we need mana in this deck, we don't draw the mana? They drew basic island off the top? All right, the streak ends here, chat. I'm sorry to say. My opponent just drew basic island off the top. Ugh. It's going to get Ancestral. It's going to get a bunch of Moxin. So now I have to draw a Null Rod. Sad days. Sad days. If I draw a Null Rod, we still have a chance. I did draw a Null Rod, didn't I? Uh, yay, 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 yay. I just... Uh, I guess I shouldn't have bottomed the land, huh? I felt extremely favored in this game, and I'm going to lose it very badly. They have Dismember? Oh. Yeah, I guess so. I'm just not lucky. I, I used up too much luck to get those three wins. What can I say? It's okay. My 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 Lelia is uncounterable now because they killed my my Magus. So I do think this game, if we get more turns, could still be winnable. No, you have demonic. All right, just have it all. Sure, why not? Brutal, savage, wrecked. All right, the five O dream is dead. Po is too strong. I do think that this game could have just gone so much better if we just draw a mana source after the Magus, right? We play a Lelia, then we play a Rabble Master. Pretty unfortunate. Oh, we're running back Code Provider. God bless. All right, here we go. Round five. Last one. Can we 4 1? Can we beat up Code Provider one more time with our mono red deck? It's a little bit all in here. It's, 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 it's a wee bit all in. But it's pretty good against our opponent, so... Sure, let's try it. Magus of the Moon. Nice. That's good. Any fetch lands? Any sagas? On color Moxin. Oh, wait. That's an opal. Uh oh, is it eight cast?
Oh, wait, these are all in the Luris deck? Interesting. So this is still the same Breach deck, it looks like. <laughs> Tap the Opal for red is a good sign. It means they don't even have any lands. They probably had Saga in hand, maybe. Should we Fury this thing? Oh my god. This is... This is just mean. <laughs> All right, Fury, it's a little, it was pretty sweet there, yeah? It's the 3-3 three, three double striker. Okay, black, red, white, Luris in the hand. They do have, uh, oh, they got Luris. Okay. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Now they can just replay this Dragon Rage Channeler every turn. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have used my Luris so soon. I didn't think they had the mana to make this Luris play, but apparently they drew land Black Lotus. So, things are bad. Things are definitely bad. I think I'm willing to trade off my Magus for your Fury. So, or my Magus for your Luris. So, if you're willing to make that trade, this is your opportunity. They are willing to make that trade. All right, well, I, I don't think I was beating this Luris. So, I'm pretty happy to make that trade. I, I don't know. I didn't, didn't feel like that Luris was a beatable thing for me. So... Like, either drawing a card every turn, returning Black Lotus, replaying Dragon Rage every turn. Just didn't look like that was going to be beatable. They don't even have Metalcraft when the block was made. They do get to play Saga, though. Maybe Saga's good enough. Like, this is a pretty fast clock, though. It's 8 damage right now. Now they don't have Mox Opal turned on. I do probably need to draw something. That is... That would have been a lethal draw. If I had an additional red mana. Kind of nutty. That's so wild. <laughs> it would have just been lethal. I guess I would need it. Yeah. I would need extra mana. Uh, sure. They got two blockers now. Now they have a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, if I can play an Angras Marauder this turn, I still have really nice attacks, because Fury is insane. <laughs> mm, I don't have double red, though. And killing the Dragon Rage Channeler... isn't really good, because they're just going to play a 4-4 four, four Saga token... So that trades with Fury. I don't think I like that, but I feel like I'm going to die. They're going to get like a top. This looks pretty bad for me. I don't... This this Drawing the... The, th the Moxon to make this a 4-4 four four is a little awkward. Needed the red mana for Angras Marauder, I think. This thing does not uh, have flash. So... That would be a bold play. You would think it would have flash, but no, doesn't have flash. They're not making another construct. Oh, they just drew time vault. Fantastic. I, I am so sick of time vault. Oh God. It's so dumb. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. All right, my opponent's going to play both artifacts and graveyard stuff. It's a very easy uh, board plan for me of bringing in everything. Uh, I'm going to just take out some rabble. I'm going to leave in both Furies, actually. 
yeah, I'm gonna do this. I still feel hmm, I don't know. All right, what do we got? What do we have? This one doesn't seem good enough. I like this one. Can't draw the Winota if I don't have it in my deck. I kept Leyline in. Hold. I kept a Lantern in, sorry. I mean, you don't need the mana after you've already used it, right? Not me. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what you're on about. Who needs Who needs mana? I played all my cards. My opponent's dead. They can't cast anything. They have no mana. No rod just reads GG. And they still haven't even seen Lane Line in the Void yet. Magus does just seem really strong right now. Uh, maybe he just needs to be backed up by... Uh... Hell yeah, this hand is lit. Uh, just needs to be backed up by... Null Rods. Fetch a basic island? Didn't fetch a basic island? They saw the Magus? With the Urza's bobble? <laughs> uh... I'm gonna play Trinosphere first. Now I'm going to play Uncounterable Magus, and they're going to concede. Or am I going to play Uncounterable Scab Clan Berserker? New plan. Probably still Magus, though. We have enough mana to play this after. All right. God. This is fun. I'm having a good time. Go get the Luris. Maybe draw Black Lotus. Oh, <gasps> Seal of Fire? Oh no! My Magus! That will make my Scab Clan uncounterable though. 
Seal of fire, huh? Damn. <laughs> All right, Magus down. It's too bad that I have follow-ups. <laughs> I guess they can play Alluris. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they don't even play any basics. Kind of feels like they don't play any basics. Sure. Lure is down. It's going to be so good later. Of course, not my rabble master. Are they debating whether to pay three life to force this? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 F3, 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 F3. They kept in Hercules against me for Null Rod, and then Lightning Bolted the Berserker. Okay. And then forced the Rabble Master. Nice. Everything's dead. Here's a Null Rod. Ancestral, okay. Game plan is occurring. But they also have like four bobbles in their deck, so. Top, yeah. Well, I can't cast that one yet. Grinosphere? Mm, 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 mm. So what's their plan? Are they going to try to win with 1-1 uh, one, one stuffs? Uh, I'm not playing this. Cost 3 mana. I don't want to use my tomb. They have another Hercules? Oh, Gifts Ungiven? Uh-oh. Hold on, chat, chat, chat. I give you another opportunity. All right, chat, you've made it to the end of the stream, pretty much, 185 of you. If you guess, if you have the most cards correct in this Gifts Ungiven pile, you will get VIP. With a minimum of three, you need to at least get three correct. So this is the board state. Chat, you have one and a half minutes to guess what is in this Gifts Ungiven pile the closest person who has three or more will be given VIP. Good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. Some interesting piles. Some interesting piles from chat.
<laughs> Five cards is a bold pile. Hey, Lawrence, you better you, you better tell me what's in this gifts ungiven pile. You you have the power. It's in your hands. People are making some very interesting piles against the current board state that I can't I can't imagine anyone would ever make. All right, all right, I'm close. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm closing the. Uh, I'm closing the the submissions. Everyone after Mega is too late. The pile is. No one's gonna have three. No, no one. No one is gonna have. Th no one has three of this, right? No, no one had Demonic Tutor, Dragon Rage Chandler, Gorilla Shaman, Urza Saga. No one was remote. Saga, saga, a couple sagas. I saw a demonic tutor. No one was close. Uh. So I think I just bank on drawing a red card and give them both of the creatures. Oh, yeah, I think I should just, yeah, I'm going to give, I'm going to give them both of the creatures and I'm going to try to hit a red card off the top. Because they can't mox my stuff anyways. Mox monkey my stuff. Everyone who said graveyard stuff when there's a ley line in play was bold. All right, here's a Mox Monkey. They could destroy my Ruby right now. It costs them five mana to destroy a uh, two drop. So to kill the Null Rod, they would have to draw a mana. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say draw a red card for my uh my fury, not draw a red mana. Probably just holding the city of traders. No, oh, I can play out my soul ring in case they kill my null rod. Yeah, actually, we'll, we'll play that then. All right. Well, this looks pretty bad. If they hit a mana source, they have to hit a land. If they hit a land, they can kill my Null Rod. I guess they could just kill my Soul Ring. I I expect them to play out their Dragon Rage Channeler because they they have to kind of race me. We'll see. This could backfire for sure. If if opponent hits a land and kills my Null Rod, it's quite bad for me. But Demonic Tutor seems like it would get another Saga, and I don't think I can beat a Saga from this board spot. So, oh, they're going to Brainstorm instead of playing Dragon Rage Channeler. That's interesting. All right, so they did hit a land. So next turn, they can uh, blow up the Null Rod. So I do need to draw a red card in order to not die to that. All right, red card, please. I've lost those in my deck. Nice. All right, no Gorilla Shaman for you. So unfortunately, Null Rod doesn't stop them from untapping their Mana Vault because this is activated abilities and this is a triggered ability. So I lost my clock, but... Wow. No mountains, eh? The good news is I still have uncounterable humans if I draw them. Like that. And they're back to having five mountains. <laughs> uh, you do love to see it.
I could not have hard cast Fury. I did not have any red mana. I think it's better to cast the Simeon Spirit Guide than to hold open Pyro. This way I can start attacking. They would have to trade probably. What a hell, this has been pretty fun. Three mana bobble, get two scries, or two surveils, I should say. Just good fair magic here. Oh, I'm one mana short of that one too. I don't think I even have any artifacts in my board. <laughs> nope, just the one sided null rod. I don't know. They're pretty locked out. Uh, historically speaking, Leyline is pretty good against um, the Luris Breach deck, and then Null Rod is insane against the Luris Breach deck. All they have is probably more Sagas, right? But now Sagas are turned off because of Magus, so they have to kill Magus and find a Saga, very likely. I, I, I would imagine that would be what it would have. All right, so now I can jam a Karn. Oh, I probably should have jammed a Karn pre-combat, but I don't want to stand up Null Rod. I could have stood up a Soul Ring, I guess. Like, I don't want to stand up Trinisphere because that turns it off, and I didn't want to stand up Null Rod. Uh... Oh. I feel like there had to be a better pile, but I don't have their deck list, so who knows. All right, this actually went much, much better, huh? <laughs> uh, so 4-1, just lost a PO. With this deck, it wasn't very much changed. The Furies were good, but it wasn't a crazy change from the list we started with. I think we just ran a lot better. Uh, this deck's fun. I don't think this deck is good. Uh, maybe there are lessons to be learned here about Magus and Ragavan and how good Cavern is in Vintage. Cavern is so good in Vintage. If you can make a deck that plays Cavern and is and has other good cards in it, uh, Cavern is, is is just really, really sweet. Um, so yeah, we got to do some cool things, and uh, I really like Scab Clan Berserker as well. Uh, but Null Rod is definitely a place to be when you're playing against all these Tinker decks, and Magus against Urza Saga is really laughably funny. I love killing Sagas. I love watching Saga players lose. So, uh, Winota is probably not good, but the thing Winota does is lets you go over the top against, like, uh, other decks and lets you be pretty fast. Uh, I, I don't know about... I mean, like, you could build this deck Mono Red Prison. You could totally do that. I just think that the number of Prison elements is, like, kind of low... Um, you probably would have to play like no rods in the main. Maybe you could like it's it's a little rough to play no rods in the main when half of your mana acceleration is artifacts, because uh, it's only really good against the decks that are you know you know they're you know, tinker decks and saga decks and those kind of things. So it's a little tough to make a, a mono red prison deck in my mind in vintage, but it's totally doable. And if you run hot, have the right pairings, have the right matchups, uh, it totally is fine. I really hate Blood Moon because it hit, gets hit by Force of Vigor, so. That's my biggest problem with Blood Moon. All of the decks where Magus is like super good against, like Bazaar, um, or where, where the moon effect is super good, like they all have Force of Vigors in the main, typically. So, But you can totally play Blood Moons. You can totally play Mono Red Prison. I, I think it's more just a kind of a, a, a luck of the draw rolls, like uh, rolls and matchups. So uh, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. If you're on Twitch, check out the YouTube channel. If you're on YouTube, check out the Twitch channel. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. And I'm not even recording, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But I guess I'll go. I guess I'll go snack up the video from uh, from YouTube uh, from Twitch vods somewhere.